People of the world, Microsoft's latest build release gives you doodleable screens and a more efficient assistant. Delhi High Court blocks Paytm's restraining attempts against Unicommerce, and Microsoft's quarter three earnings miss the estimates. Share prices fell by 5% in the after hours trading. And there is a lot more. This is Sunday, 24th of April, and I'm Aditya bringing you the gossip you should actually be talking about. Welcome to Tech Portal TV presents The Bulletin. You threw a party when Windows brought the start icon back to the taskbar? Well, you should prepare for hosting a carnival. Microsoft has just rolled out a fresh out of the steam Windows 10 preview build and has finally brought in the much talked about Windows Ink to the mobile OS and desktop as well as made major improvements to Cortana. Windows Ink firstly is where your sincere practice of paint starts paying off. Windows Ink lets you draw on your screens using a digital pen just as you would do it on paper. Built-in experiences such as the screen sketch, sketchpad and sticky notes as well as your favorite pen apps are now available right at your pen tip. Cortana, secondly, for those who do not know, is Windows answer to the closest you can come to affording Donna. The Windows Assistant is now on your lock screen. Windows is also rolling out newer ways to let Cortana remind you of important tasks including photo reminders as well as saving articles to read later. To put Le Sherry on Le Cake, we are getting a better start menu and action center functionality among others. While reports had poured in earlier about Paytm appealing to the Delhi High Court for a restraining order against Snapdeal bagged Unicommerce, the court has denied all such orders. The same was confirmed to us by a Unicommerce spokesperson. This comes amid the allegations made by Paytm that the Snapdeal bagged e-commerce enabler had accessed confidential business data on Paytm's commerce platform using the sellers on this platform. It also claimed that Unicommerce is using Paytm's logo and name without any authorization. Since quintessentially there is good news and bad news, Microsoft is back with us to comply with the latter. Microsoft has announced the results for its third quarter of fiscal 2016 and the Redmond giant has missed analyst estimates this quarter. The actual revenue amounted to $22.1 billion with an EPS of $0.62 per share as against Wall Street estimates of $22.09 billion in revenue with an EPS of $0.64 per share. The deficit in EPS caused the share prices of Microsoft to fall by 5% in the after hours trading. Pop quiz, what is very blue, very cool and is going to put the links you spend more time on higher on your news feed? Facebook. The social giant is changing the way its feeds algorithm works. Facebook says that it is learning that the time people choose to spend on reading and watching content that they clicked on from the news feed is an important signal that the story was interesting to them. So now the company is adding another factor to its news feed ranking which will predict how much time you will spend looking at an article in your Facebook mobile browser or an instant article you clicked on through the Facebook news feed. Popquiz 2.0, what is also very blue, also very cool and is owned by Facebook. Facebook Messenger, which just gave us group voice calling. Announcing the new feature classically through a Facebook post, Messenger head David Marcus explained to initiate a group call from any group conversation, just tap on the phone icon. You can then manage the individual participants on the next screen. A maximum of 50 participants can be added to a group audio call. All the selected users will then simultaneously get an audio call from Messenger with which they can join the conversation. Any user who chooses not to participate in the conversation can simply ignore or decline the call. But here's the most interesting part. If an invited participant misses the call, he or she can join the conversation any time as long as the conversation is going on. In what has been a complete shocker for most in tech and entrepreneurial community, SoftBank, the world's richest investment firm, is facing an ensuing internal strife wherein a group of investors has urged the board to look into the matters of President Nikesh Arora. The first signs of trouble came as early as January when the SoftBank board received a letter from American law firm Bue, Skiller and Flexner acting on behalf of an unspecified and unidentified group of SoftBank stakeholders. The investors also criticized what they called Arora's poor investment performance and a series of questionable transactions done under his tenure. And right before it is time for the startup activity roundup from the last three days, it is time you hit that subscribe button that you've been thinking about all this while. Three more of Housing.com co-founders have left the company to start their own venture. With Abhishek Anand, Sanat Ghosh and Ravish Naresh leaving the company, the number of co-founders who have left the company comes up to 9 out of the 12 original co-founders. Commenting upon their rather sudden departure, the trio said that Housing.com was their dream and that they are very glad to see that the current leadership team is strong where accomplished executives are working with a young innovative team. 
They also said that they are sure that the positive momentum and high growth will continue at housing.com and they look for their next dream, a new venture. Northscape, the one startup with a really hard name to pronounce, which is also a simulation and gamification software company which helps organizations in talent transformation, has received Series A funding from Inventors Capital and the HR Fund. Using its experiential learning programs, Northscape helps organizations attract, grow and retain talent. In fact, Fortune 500 companies, top 10 B schools and leading HR consultants use Nolscape's gamification and simulation products and solutions for onboarding, assessment, training as well as engagement etc. Delightful Gourmet Private Limited, which runs the meat delivery service Licious, has raised $3 million in Series A funding from Mayfield India. The company is going to spend the money to strengthen its technology and analytic performance as well as expansion into other cities. Licious uses strict internal high quality checks to procure meat from reliable sources and uses patented temperature controlled vacuum sealed containers to deliver items such as lamb, chicken and seafood. Making good on its promise, the Small Industries Development Bank of India has set up a 1000 crore rupee fund to be distributed among 30 venture capital firms in India under the India Aspiration Fund. The amount was approved by Stidby Executive Committee after the original 1416 crore rupees approved by its Independent Advisory Venture Capital Investment Committee earlier. And finally, the fastest growing online publishing platform Medium, spearheaded by Twitter co-founder F. Williams, has raised another $50 million within a short span of 6 months. This Series C round was led by Spark Capital which also showed early interest in Twitter. Medium is aggressively striving to be the most simplistic tool for all publishers on the interweb. This is it for today folks, uh, like the videos because you do, share the videos because you should and subscribe because you must. See you next Thursday, until then take care and try and keep up.